Hi, I'm Paul Grykowski, and today I'm going to be talking to you about our Gen 4 PCI Express VIP. I'm going to be going over a few of its key features. So first I will start off with the key features of our PCIe Gen 4 VIP. It emulates both root complexes and endpoints, supports Gen 4 down through Gen 1. We also have a comprehensive test suite that's available for your DUD as an endpoint, root, complex, or PHI. The full protocol stack is supported along with many compliance checkers to verify accuracy across the layers. Also, one of the key features of it is the built-in integration with error injections. We have this ability where you select from a menu of error injections, very easy to apply uh, without having to write complex callbacks, and all of the error injection, the recovery is all handled for you. Now we do also give you access to callbacks where you can write your own custom error injections, uh, giving you full control all the way down to the symbol level. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is our passive monitor. Our passive monitor is configuration aware, and what that means is we can connect it up and have it observe the enumeration sequence as it runs across the bus. It programs itself accordingly, and with that information, it knows how to, to verify your design. It can um, check for accuracy based upon the configuration. The next thing I want to introduce was our, our PCIe test suites. They're all source code based, um, written in UVM. We provide you all the key, the sequences that we use, also available in source, in, which you can use to develop your own test if you would like. But as far as the test suites go, we support Gen 4 all the way down to Gen 1. And um, as I mentioned earlier, we have support for root complex DUT and PHI. We support CERTES and pipe mode, up to 32 lanes. We support many of the ECNs, and we also have a very specific tests for targeting individual transaction layer, data link layer, PHI layer, as well as not just going after normal behavior, but actually targeting in on error and scenarios. So we'll inject errors into the system and make sure that everything is recovered. All of these tests are self-checking and automated so that you can run them and get a pass or fail result. <clears throat> also, enumeration can optionally be enabled and run with it as well. These tests um, are very useful for a couple of different purposes. One, you can do integration testing. Um, also, you can, um, if you're developing your own core and you need to validate it, you can use that to aid in that process as well. And one final aspect I wanted to show is our ability to have some advanced debugging capabilities. Using Verti, we have the Verti Protocol Analyzer shown here. And with this, what we have is a couple of different aspects shown on the window. We have the actual transaction capture here, where we're seeing things such as TLPs, DLPs, etc., ordered sets, LTSSM state. We can click any one of these and we can get the details about it. We also have the waveforms also showing, and these windows are linked together. So as you update one side, you also can see the update in the other. And then finally we have pulled in the log file, and the log file is pulled in and it's annotated such that you can quickly navigate through it, you can identify errors and start debugging it. So a common scenario would be find an error, go to that piece of code, look at the transaction that was causing it, have the waveform update and you can start drilling down into the data. It's a very powerful tool that makes it quickly to zero in on your bugs. All right, so that pretty much sums it up. We've gone through the Gen 4 PCIe VIP and many of its key features, including the passive monitor, as well as the test suites. Thank you very much for watching.